what's happened around the world. You know, you have like the French Me Too movement, the Greek Me Too movement. You have women who are coming out of that shame, what everybody coming out of that shame and out of that silence. And, you know, it really kind of, the Me Too movement kind of broke the barrier on like what it's like to come forward. You know, most people have a story. Everybody has a story. And I think that to be able to say, oh, I was groped or I was inappropriately harassed at work, like people are just so easy to talk about it now. And I think it's really just been people, a trauma-informed society, actually people who are able to say, oh my God, you're not alone. Like I hear you and I hope you're okay. And do you have the resources? Like, I think people aren't ashamed anymore. You know, I see it like a pendulum where we kind of swung one way and now we're kind of like, you know, humming along. But what's important in the humming along is that we define consent and actually start to make changes in the legal system. I don't know if you're aware, um, but in Harvey Weinstein's case, as well as my case um, against Cosby and trial, the jury asked for a definition of consent. And, you know, the fact that there's confusion around consent, that we don't have a legal definition of consent, if we want to see any true change, we have to have change within the legal system and a definition of consent. I think that the Me Too movement definitely gave predators pause uh, to act on their inclinations. I think that they have been warned and so now i do feel like they are less likely to do it but i do think they're still doing it i think that i would be very naive to think that uh, the world has changed so wonderfully and this does not still go on that being said i do feel like uh this movement has made an impact that's positive i do feel like women and men um, cause honestly, many men come to me often and say, thank you so much for speaking up because it's given me the strength to speak up, which is, um, interesting. Um, cause we often talk about the women, but we don't talk about the men. So, um, I, I think it has given, um, everyone more power to speak up and that is huge.